let me show you how to use the Fetch API to create a jokes generator in JavaScript. And to make things interesting, I'm going to attempt to do this challenge in two minutes. At least I hope so. All right, so we are here on iCodeDays where we just recently launched a few more make me functional coding challenges. And the one we're going to attempt now is the dead jokes challenge. In these coding challenges, you are given the HTML and CSS and you can change them, which means that you have to study the code in order to be able to complete the tasks. Well, let's see, what is this about? In the HTML, we have a container and we have a paragraph with an idea of joke, which will contain our joke text. And we have a button with an idea of get joke button. For the description, when we click on the button, we have to make an API call to the dead jokes API and show a random joke on the screen inside the joke paragraph. All right, here we have the link and by default, Preload the dead joke so the container is never empty. As you can see, now it's empty. We have only a comment here. So our job is to add the JavaScript code to make this functional. So we have a timer for two minutes. Let's go. First, we need the get joke button. We need document. Come on, get element by ID, get joke btn. And then we need our joke element, which is not that document, get element by ID, joke. And now we need to have a function which will add joke to DOM. And here we're going to fetch an API. Which API? Well, we need to define it. API will be something that I stored because I'm fancy. And now we also need to pass in headers to tell it that, hey, we want to accept application, application JSON. Come on, work with me. And this will return a promise. So we need to store it and put a wait in front of it because that's cool. And the data will be res.json. And of course, a wait here as well, because that's a promise. And the last thing to do is to get the joke element and the inner text of that. Come on, inner text will be data.joke because that's what, not like that. That's what it returns. And we want to call this initially on DOM load like that. And we also want to get joke button, add an event listener on click. We want to call this again. Now I realized that you don't have to do that, but whatever. And now when we click, oh, oh and we still have 20 seconds to go. Awesome. Yeah, that's cool. Okay, and now that we finished and we celebrated, very cool celebration, uh, let me show you some improvements we can make to the code. One of which is we can pass this directly as a callback and that will work. And we also want to make sure that this API will return what we need. So we're going to wrap it in a try catch block like that. And if we have an error, we want to console that error, the error, just so we, well, you know, we know that something happened. But before doing res.json, we want to make sure that we have an okay response. And if we not, so if you don't have a response that okay, we want to throw an error, throw new error and say something wrong, bro, wrong, bro, bro. Okay, something like that. All right, so now our application also takes care of those edge cases and it continues to work well. So now that we finished the app, we can share this with our friends and hopefully make them laugh. Not at us, but at the jokes because they're kind of cool.